Bastille and Thieves' Pot fell into ruin. What had been a tower in the Wild War was quickly buried beneath the expanding town. Prisoners once cast into the Thieves' Pot were now locked away in the filthy cells of the tomb. The player could wash the jail in vain by eating pot. The fallen new county jail, now known as the Old Town Jail, opened its cell doors to convicts in 1847. But not everything had changed. Public punishments in Europe carried out each Tuesday market day at the Metro Cross in Broad Street. Whippings of branded slugs, where bombers' ears could be made into a horse, and hands were made common out of the 1840s. Every citizen was encouraged to attain and witness the consequences of crimes against the common earth. The cups to do, stops, jugs, and then the crisp shackles, used at the Metro Cross, and the better boat, and the lackeys, with the thieves' body. I'm now on permanent display in the Stilling Street Art Gallery and Museum as part of the permanent Stilling's Story Exhibition. A total tower has stood at the heart of Broad Street since the earliest days of the Royal Bar. A combination of courtroom and cells, a council chamber, and as the name suggests, an office for more tolls and taxes were paid. Little remains of the earliest structure of this spot. Or a tiny basement room, possibly the prison cell of the tower raised here in 1472, an older dungeon even than that one in Thieves' Pot, is still used today as a store by the modern Tokyo Theatre. The current hot tower, built by Sir William Bruce of Pimbos, was completed in 1706. Gideon Gray added a townhouse, cells, and clerk's office in 1785. The new control of prison war added in 1820 by Edinburgh architect Richard Hansberry. Renovated by restoration architect Simpson and Brown in 2000, the tall room is now a theatre and art centre, still in its venue for music and comedy. For centuries, the stocky carved figure representing justice, seen to your left, stood over the Broad Street entrance to the town. Recent renditions depict justice as blind, impartial, but this white line may be evil one yet, clearly wants a good view of the punishments carried out in his name at the Market Cross. To the hangings and beheadings there of the radical leaders John Baird and Andrew Hardy in September 1820, executed on the charge of high treason after much in protest.
fierce truths once in the glory of day, when laws for Scotland we were all made. But now I move for your palace land, the sentence to be in the other hand. The wealthy boy of the bugs is a little bit the people seem to Scotland's hands. Defensive tower from the town wall. Yeah.